Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial and this is a Windows XP customization tutorial and this is a tutorial on how to get the Windows 7 um, status utility um, drive status like this. This here. It would show the status of your own hard drive on how much memory it will have, even your thumb drives. Um, the, uh, the best part about this is that there's no program you will need. It's said here it's no different to the Windows 7 Explorer is quite similar to Vesta and shows the same small horizontal progress bar and it will work for Windows XP and yeah no program just to prove it to you guys is that there's no program in applications only my V start and there's no program to uh, emulate it so it's it patches your Windows XP I mean, I mean it patches your Explorer EXE to show this and it's pretty good I like it and it's helpful. So the way to get this, I will put this link in the description from askvg.com, Vishal or whatever. And once you're at the site, tweaking with Vishal or whatever, you, whatever visual or whatever you guys pronounce it. So, anyways, um, once you're at the site, we're gonna have to scroll down and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Just keep going until you see this here the Windows 7 drive status utility and then once you see it here so just click on download Windows 7 drive status utility and click on the link and you should load this page here on Mediafire um, and just click here to start download it's not going to do anything to your computer no virus just to tell you guys and yeah click here to start the download your download is starting and this window should pop up on your uh, screen click on your desktop click on save and it should save it to your desktop as a WinRAR file and you'll need a program to extract this so you're gonna have to go to um, go to www.winrar.com or oops sorry about that rarlab.com once you're at the site click on downloads and then there's x86 which is for a six, uh, 32 bit and a x64 so we're for a 64 bit and then there's other programs and there's winzip to extract this file and just click on downloads and winzip 12.1 and go ahead and install it and there's a free program because those other two i just show i just showed uh you have to pay so you're gonna have to go to 7-zip.org this one is for free and get the 32-bit or the 64-bit for your computer and once you got one of those programs to extract the file of course we're gonna have to extract the file so we're gonna have to right click on it and click on extract here once you extracted it you should get a folder called Vesta drive status and to uh, if I were you uh, we will make a folder in program files so you won't lose the file because if you delete this it won't show it in my computer anymore so uh, make a folder in program files so let's go to our star button computer or my computer sorry I'm just using a Windows Vista emulated uh, vstart for Windows XP so I'm sorry it's just like this to me so anyways go to my computer and once you're in it go to your Windows XP drive if you have only Windows XP on your computer, go to your C drive. I have two, so let's go to our Windows XP Pro, uh, hard drive. So go to your Windows XP hard drive. And then go to Program Files. And scroll down. And drag in the folder from Vesta Drive Status from your WinRAR. And drag it inside Program Files. And once you've done that, you should see it inside the Program Files in Windows XP. So open up that folder and you should see a bunch of files here that will be loading and this will show screenshots of it and how it will look and just click on this one here to install it and it will start it up and when you go to my computer it should show it if you uninstall it it will uninstall it and now when you go to my computer it won't show anymore so if you wanna just make it be like that just uh, I'll, I'll double click on VSDRV and then it should be in my computer and you can look at the status of your memory 
and you can just delete the file on your desktop of the Vista drive status you don't need it anymore and then it will be in your program files and it will automatically start up your, your own computer on your computer and it won't slow it down at all it will automatically start up so yeah that's how you get the Vista drive status on Windows XP but it's uh, Windows 7 but I like it if, if you like it go ahead and use it but it's pretty efficient and I suggest you leave it because it helps so yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, goodbye.